Hi, I'm Sean Gannett, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about multiplying radical expressions. So if I was given this expression here, negative 2 square root of 3 plus 2 times the square root of 3 minus 5, okay? So you might have heard of um, what's called FOIL, um, but I just say all parts of my first parenthesis get multiplied by all parts of my second parenthesis. So let's go do that. Uh, negative 2 times square root of 3 comes out to be a negative 2. Square root of 3 times 3. Again, negative, uh, square root of, uh, negative 2 square root of 3 times 5 is just a positive, both negative. 2 times 5 is 10. 10 square root of 3. And I angle is down a little. Maybe my arc a little too deep there. So now let's work with the 2's. 2 times the square root of 3 is just 2 square root of 3. And 2 times the minus 5 is a minus 10. So just like you would before, we just kind of multiply all parts here. Make sure you draw your arcs make sure everything comes down. And now we just have to simplify this, okay? Well, the square root of 3 times 3, I see my pair, okay? I already see a pair of 3s right there. I can bring that to the outside and have negative 2 times 3 here, okay? Now, I have square root of 3 and square root of 3. I can combine these two, okay? I can combine those two to be one, uh, one part here. So we look to the number out in front, the 10 and 2. So this becomes 12 square root of 3. And there we have minus 10 right there. Negative 2 times 3 is a negative 6, plus 12 square root 3 minus 10. Well, now let's go look. We have negative 6 and minus 10 here, okay? Negative 6 and minus 10 come out to be a negative 16, plus 12 square root of 3. We can combine these two, and that's it. Our final answer here is just a negative 16 plus 12 square root of 3. So let's recap. We're given the square root of negative 2 square root of 3 plus 2 times square root of 3 minus 5. All parts of my first parenthesis get multiplied by all parts of my second parenthesis to give us here minus 2 square root of 3 times 3 plus 10 square root of 3 plus 2 square root of 3 minus 10. We simplified, right? Simplified this square root of 3 times 3 is just 3. Okay, 3 times 3 is about 9. We can see a pair there. Uh, we can combine the 10 square root of 3 plus 2 square root of 3 with addition because they're the same square root of 3 to look to the number in front of them to be 12 square root of 3 and the minus 10 is just there. Minus 10 uh, combined with the minus 2 times 3, which is minus 6, to give us our final answer here of just a minus 16 plus 12 square root of 3. 